Hey guys, it's Curtis back with another episode of Turbo Cube. Um, just want to say that I did not purchase a Humvee, even though there's a picture of a Humvee up here. Uh, the military Humvee shared, or I guess some of them shared the same engine as my van, and the military issue 6.2 diesels had the highest output of all of them. Um, the reasons were the intake, um, the injection pump, and the exhaust manifold. Um, my injection pump's brand new, and it is a high output one already. I put that in about a year and a half ago. But um, the intake manifold and the exhaust are serious upgrades for me. Um, I uh, put up a few pictures of the intake uh, next to my old one. Um, I don't think it matters too much with boost uh, single plane versus dual plane since you know, my air is now pressurized going into my engine. Um, but the the main reasons I bought bought this new intake was the way the flange is designed. There's a lot more um, surface area where the, the top hat would, would meet on uh, that I haven't made yet. Um, my thoughts here are that I can it'll be easier to seal. Uh, the other reason is it sits a couple inches lower uh, that just gives me some more room in, under the under the dog box for, I guess, anything that I decide to add later, or more room to work in general. Uh, the other thing I bought were um, the exhaust manifolds. Um, some pictures of these here, and some pictures of my old old ones too. Um, the old ones were just a regular cast manifold. The Humvee ones are actual headers. Um, as far as headers are concerned, they're really poor design, but uh, they're a lot better than what I had. And if you notice, the outlets are the outlet is half an inch larger. Um, the driver's si uh, driver's side one didn't fit. The um, the outlet of it angled right into the uh, brake lines and the frame. Uh, I had to cut it off and rotate it so it actually fit in my van a lot better and I could actually make an exhaust crossover go under the transmission. Um, so I cut and rotated that. I cut the flanges off both and ended up welding on V-band flanges. They, uh, I, I don't know if you know what, what they are, but I explained that in my next video. Um, but I didn't want to start, I didn't want to put up a video of me building a Y-pipe and attaching it to something that I, I didn't explain first. So. I promise guys, subscribe. My next video is turbo parts and Y pipe building and welding and cutting and grinding and it's a lot better than these pictures and me talking. So subscribe. Thanks. Bye.